All right, this weekend, it is one of the best featherweight title fights that you're ever going to see. Of course, Ilya Saporia going up against Max Holloway. I cannot wait for this fight. This is two of the very best strikers that we have in all of mixed martial arts. Of course, Max Holloway declares himself as the best boxer in the UFC. The best boxer in UFC, baby! Ilya says that anybody that says that, they don't know anything about fighting. And if you know Ilya Tapori and you've seen the build up to this fight, then you know that, like always, Ilya Tapori is coming into this one extremely confident, very motivated, riding high on his undefeated record of 15 wins, no losses, five knockouts, eight submissions, and of course, last time out against the former pound for pound number one, Alexander Volkanovsky, a man that he put to sleep in the second round. Now, Saporia, this guy's trying to set a trap. He's trying to play some mind games with Max Holloway. Of course, Volkanovski has beaten Holloway three times. But MMA math doesn't stack up. Styles make fights. And I do believe the fact that Volkanovski got knocked out against Islam just a few months before, that does factor into this. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is just the pure disrespect that Saporia has had for Max Holloway. Yeah, sure, he says he's a great fighter, but he says he will beat him anywhere. If it was just kickboxing or boxing, he would beat him. If you put me only with him in kickboxing or in boxing... He would beat him in a chess match. Even in a chess match, whatever you want to do, boy, I can beat you. He's not smart enough, he's not quick enough, he's not powerful enough. He's walking around with a BMF. Think of his belt on his shoulder right now. He bought it. For what, 600 bucks, 700 bucks, brother? That's a waste of money. Ilya, why did you purchase a BMF belt? Mm, not because I want it. It's not like a spoiled child. Blah, 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 blah. He's oozing confidence and bravado in every single interview that he does. If he's, he, he's going to bring like the same energy he, he brings in the last 10 seconds of every round, like when, when he does this, I'm going to knock him out in the first round. And I'm telling you right now, this is all mind games. This is all to set a trap for Max Holloway. It's a trap! Because... Max Holloway is a very, very good fighter. He is one of the best featherweights we've ever seen. And he's extremely experienced. Last time out against Justin Gagey, the man went five rounds. Remember, this is a five-round fight. Saporia, so far in his career, has only seen the fifth round once against Josh Emmett. Sure enough, that was because he knocked out Volkanovski. And all his other fights, they've all ended in the first or second round. When you look at Max Holloway, it's nothing but five-round fights. Five round fights against Justin Gagey, Arnold Allen, Yair Rodriguez, Kelvin Cater, Volkanovski three times, Dustin Poirier. There's been loads of others that were scheduled for five rounds as well, like Brian Ortega, Jose Aldo on two occasions as well. This man is a five round machine. And I feel that now, Max Holloway, given the age that he is at 32, has the maturity and the style and the experience to drag this out to be a longer affair, and that will give him an advantage over Ilya Taporia. I think that's what Ilya's doing here. He's trying to set a trap. He's saying, come on, point at the ground. Point at the ground. Let's go to war. Let's do it right here and there. Because he wants to knock him out. Because I think when you look at these two fighters on paper, they are both incredible boxers. But one big difference that stands out is the power of Ilya Taporia. It is just different. He puts people to sleep. The only person that was able to withstand the punch power of Taporia in the UFC so far was Josh Emmett. Everyone else has got submitted or knocked out. So the reason I say setting the trap is because last time out against Justin Gagey, that was a masterclass performance from Max Holloway. We know the human highlight reel is a very dangerous man. Knocked out Dustin Poirier in the second round. What did he do in that fight? For five rounds, he just picked Justin Gagey apart, okay? He used constant in and out movement. You want to hit and not get hit, sure, granted. But he wasn't just doing that. He was planting his feet, he was landing shots, and then he was getting out of the way. Sure enough, Justin Gagey did a good job of butchering up the leg. But that's what Justin Gagey does to everybody. But as Max Holloway was getting in and out, just landing shots, using a lot of variation, throwing a jab, a right hand to the body, a calf kick of his own, a spinning back kick to the face at the end of round one. As the fight progressed, Max got more and more comfortable and he was just wearing Justin Gagey down. The speed, the timing, the rhythm, the in and out movement. More importantly, the control of the feet 
the footwork is so important when it comes to striking. And when you watch that fight between Gagey and Holloway, it is so clearly evident because it's the feet that controls where the body is. I know that's obvious, but you see sometimes a lot of fighters, mixed martial arts, boxing, UFC, whatever, they go forward, they get aggressive, they start swinging punches. They're so intent on doing damage that they forget about their footwork, okay? They're just worried about knocking the person out. So therefore, they're not in control of the feet and they fall forward and they end up clinching against the fence. And then from here, we see a battle for underhooks. Maybe someone gets a takedown or whatever the case may be. Max Holloway's in supreme control of his feet. He gets in, lands a shot, whatever it is, a couple of shots, and then he's out. He's in, he's out, he's rotating. He's not backing up to the fence. If you back up against the fence, you've got nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. You can't back up because you've got the fence right behind you. So he's constantly thinking, he's constantly on his back, he's constantly moving, and he's constantly doing damage. And Ilya Taporia will have watched that fight, and he's aware of that. And yes, Taporia says that he wasn't impressed with that, okay? I am not impressed with your performance. I'm not impressed by your performance. But the reality is you can't look at that fight and not be impressed. And Ilya Taporia is a smart man. He might beat him in a game of chess, but will he beat him in a fight? Nobody knows until they actually fight, and yes, Taporia is very, very confident, but you use trash talk as a psychological weapon to wear your opponent down, to piss them off, to get them mad, to set a trap so it plays into your game plan. Taporia, when you look at the boxing, it is beautiful. The head movement, he slips perfectly, counters, slips and rips, comes to the body. The power is different, I think, for Max Holloway. I'm not saying Max Holloway can't hurt you. Plenty of knockouts in his UFC career, 12 on his record altogether, 26 wins, seven losses. But those losses are absolutely key here. Taporia scoffs at the notion that Max Holloway has lost fights, but it's those losses that mold you and make you better and make you greater. But he's been a part of the UFC now for 12 years when he made his UFC debut against Dustin Poirier. Talk about jumping in at the deep end and swimming with sharks straight away. The point I'm making is that all of those losses have molded Max Holloway to the fighter that he is today. A man that's smart, a man that's cerebral, a man that's been a world champion, that's fought nothing but the best, and a man that has never been knocked out. The party is aware of that, so he's trying to set a trap. He's trying to mess with the ego of Max Holloway. Say, come on then, let's do your trick. Come on, point at the floor. Point to the floor. I encourage you to do that. Because if you do that, you're going to get knocked out. And of course, fighters are proud people. We take shit like that personal. We want to prove a point, And you never know. If Taporia does that, Max Holloway might just go, okay then, you know what, brother? Let's go. And if they do that, I believe that plays into the ability of Ilya Saporia. He's probably got better one-punch knockout power, certainly in round one. Max Holloway can go the distance. Max Holloway at 155 was bigger. He looked good. He wasn't a 155er with a muffin top like he was when he fought Dustin Poirier the second time. When he fought Justin Gagey, he looked like a legit 155er. But now he's got to go back down to 145. He's got to lose some of that muscle. And leading up to this week, he does look a little skinny, a little gaunt. He's always a little skinny. He's a very, very lean guy. I don't mean that as an insult in any way, shape or form at all. But yo-yoing, going up to 155 and then coming back down to 145, that can take its toll. That can take a toll on your ability to take a shot. And if Ilya Saporia is the one throwing the punches and he's talked to nothing but mad shit, he's walking around with your belt, he's dismissing your entire career and he's pointing at the ground and saying, let's do this in the first 10 seconds. I'm telling you, he might be setting a trap for Max Holloway. But will Max Holloway fall for that? I don't think he will. I think he's too clever. I think he's too smart. He might beat him in a game of chess. We don't know. But in a mixed martial arts contest, we have no idea until they actually fight. I can't wait for this. These are two of the best strikers that you will see in the UFC currently. They go head to head. They've got nothing but massive momentum behind them. And it's going to be an incredible fight. But what do you think? Is Taporia setting a trap? Is Max Holloway going to fall for that? And who do you think wins this fight? I'm going to be speaking to these guys this week. I'm going to be seeing them around because by the time you watch this, I will be in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care.